Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how this image, the one single exposure of the planet Jupiter and some of its moons were taken. I will also show you how I was editing it in the free program GIMP. So I were at my balcony and I was using my camera, the Nikon P1000. I saw that uh, Jupiter were quite high up in the sky and uh, the seeing were very good. So I decided to give it a try to take a single exposure. I was zoomed in at 3000 mm and I tried different digital zoom. Uh, I used ISO 100, 100 of a second and F8 to take the images. I ended up taking about 30 images and in the end when I checked them all I only found one was clear enough to use for editing. So here it is in the original aspect. Here I cropped it to just fit 69. Here the image is cropped to 4K resolution. And here I cropped the image to be full HD resolution. Okay, so before I will start show you how I edit the image, I will just show you how the images could look when they are not okay. Uh, when you think you maybe took a sharp image of the planet, but you check them in the computer and as you can see here, the planet looks quite blurry. The one is blurry, next one is blurry, and then suddenly when you check your images, you find one that is sharp. I call it the lucky shot. I think uh, that's what it's called, I don't know. The atmosphere is often quite turbulent and uh, suddenly there is a little window where you can uh, succeed to take a sharp image. In the screen now you can see my settings for this image. But now let's open and edit the image. So the image is open and um, as we can see the only the planet is visible. Uh, I start cropping the image to fit 69 screen. Then we want to work with the planet itself so I will start by marking only the planet because here is the place we want to focus when we edit the image. So I put a circular um, marking around it. Then the first thing I will do is to change the white balance. I use auto white balance and I think the result be much better. Next out I think the, um, the planet was a little too bright so I will try to lower the highlights a little. I will also change the shadows uh, a little bit. I will try myself um, to see which one need to be changed or not. So I think this one was quite good but comparing with before and after it was not much of a difference but I think it's a little better so I keep that. Next thing I will do is that I will boost the saturation a little bit because the planet look quite bleached to me. I want it to be a little more colorful and a little more red. So I boost it up a little bit To be able to get the planet uh, to be a little more red, I try to change the color balance a little. And also here I just tried myself, uh, because I'm not a professional, but learning by doing. Just go for something that you feel fits your 
image. This is something that could take quite a long time, so I will fast forwarding for you and uh, just try back and forth and see which one fits your image. So here I think it's a little improvement. Not much, but yet a little. Next I will try to change the curves a little in the image. And here I only try myself to see which one make the image look better or worse. In this case I think it's a little improvement here also. Next out I just change the brightness and contrast a little. I think this was another little improvement of the image. So next thing to do is the surroundings around the planet, the black part. And to not affect the planet itself, I make the marking around the planet a bit bigger. So, uh, and then we press Control I. Then it will invert the markings. It means everything except the th one that I put in the circle will be marked. In this case, all the blacks around it and the moons and everything. So now we will change the levels for this dark area. Uh, as you can see, I just moved the marking to the, to the left in the image. And uh, this will help the moons and stars and every small bright parts in the image to be more and more visible. So I almost maximize this part. And um, as you can see now, we can see four big moons in the image. And even some stars behind, I think, if it's not moons. Uh, the area that you can see now around the planet is because we changed the contrast and colors and everything quite uh, extreme. So this is something that we want to just remove from the image and I do that by just painting with black color because everything is pitch black around it uh, due to all the contrast we make. So this was how I was edit this image and you can always do much more remember that if you have better quality from the beginning yeah, then you will get much better the result I think but remember to take many images when you take single exposures because most of them will be blurry or disturbed in uh, because of the atmosphere so thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you liked it and maybe you will give it a try yourself so thank you and bye